Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can uh, extract uh, metadata and schema data in order to play uh, with it with Matomo uh, Tag Manager. The idea came uh, from a client of mine when I looked at the source code of its page, it was looking for uh, content type for each of its content. I was wondering, well, maybe we already have some data on the page. So I just look at the source code and I found this part out, which is coming from plugins that you can install on, on your CMS, such as Drupal, such as uh, WordPress. And in fact, uh, it's giving you already a lot of, of data without much effort, so just installing a plugin, make all those data available that uh, you may have to struggle with if you want to deploy your own uh, data layer or um, require the help of a dev team. So just to let you know, you can find uh, fancy ways or easy ways to implement those just by installing a plugin. Um, so based on the needs of my uh, client, I just look for uh, a blog post about it on uh, on the internet and I found out uh, this one, which is uh, really straightforward. This one is about Google Tag Manager, but you can clearly see the old thing. So it's about how you can extract data which are out of those. And what you just need is this part. In fact, if you can understand these parts out, then and, and you're all good. Uh, this is JavaScript function, which in fact is going to work on the uh, meta tag element. And then uh, you have the different attributes that you can grab. So here, for example, they give the example for the item prop they published and then content. So to say uh, here, the code that they provide is able to say, okay, I want to work on those elements, but within those elements, I want to work on this one, which has this value. And I want to be able to extract the value of this one, so to say content. So if you understood this part, then it's kind of kit stuff for the, for the rest. Uh, all you need to do then is to go within uh, your uh, tag manager. Um, it's called a variable within Matomo. So you just go over here in, uh, in variable. Then uh, you click on uh, create a new variable. Then it's a custom JavaScript. And here you can clearly see uh, what do they expect. They expect a function with a return element. And uh, that's it. So you just do your copy and paste from the uh, website we're just showing you and you adapt it. So in my case, it's a meta element, uh, meta element, the property, and I want to extract the OG type and I want to get the content. So here, those are the four values that I changed. The idea is, uh, so I don't know this, this website at all. I just look for information about it on, on the internet. I just uh, look uh, at the source code. And as you can see, I'm going to play with meta property OG type. And I want to extract the, the data article. So uh, once you do so after it's just a custom dimension that you create and that you're going to assign to this uh, given variable. So here I have, of course, my Matomo configuration and within my Matomo configuration, I just put my custom dimension over here, which is a slight number one and here's the type of content. So nothing, um, nothing crazy here. Um, and now I can in fact go on my do, do, do. I can go within my visit log. I'm over here, WordPress SEO. As you can see, it's pushing out the value content type equal article, so I'm happy. And uh, if I continue to move on on the website, so to say that's the one, uh, let's go on resources. I have no idea if the resources will have OG type, which is different. Let's see, okay. It's exactly the same here, so I'm not gonna see like a huge difference. Um, I may, well, maybe if I type a search like hello, hello. Um, so here, this is a search page. So maybe uh, do I have an OG type? OG type, I don't. Unfortunately, on this page, I don't have an OG type. Uh, let's go on, uh, maybe, yes, yeah, they have a blog. So maybe on the blog, it may be a little bit different. Let's see, uh, OG type. OG types still an article. Um, I can maybe take like uh, 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 what do I here? Those are category page. That that may be interesting. So let's see if I got an OG type which is different. Uh, OG. Okay, unfortunately, I don't. Well. That's that's no big deal. The idea is just to show that the information will be pushed anytime you see it. So here you see it's still a content article. Uh, here there were no G type. Here back there was one, and so on and so forth. So 
Of course, it really depends of what this plugin is going to do, so Yoast or any other plugin. But if they have like, um, if they are enriching the meta properly, you can definitely get uh, data value for any of those uh, content and which of course will uh, easily enrich your uh, Matomo analytics solution. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.